Okay, so I've come down to Marion Matthews, who is dragonfly crawling. Look at this amazing dragonfly in this uh, pathway here. So we're going to go in and talk to her. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. All right. So, good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, this is take two, bit deja vu. Take <laughs> So, um, quilting, blankets. What's the difference between a blanket and a quilt, first of all? What, what? A blanket is just one layer. Yeah. And a quilt is three layers. Okay, so we've got an example here, a very beautiful example in front of us here. Uh, this is massive. This is going to be a bed quilt, is it? This is a quilt, yeah. Okay, so, so t let, let's have a look at the three layers then. Show us what, what you mean by that. Right, well, this is your quilt top. Okay, so this is the bit where someone supplies to you. So they've done all this fancy... They've all stitched all these pieces together right. and cut fabrics up and come up with creative patterns mm. and pictures and what have you. Fantastic. And then we then supply a wadding which is like a, an insulation. Right, okay, so that's, that's your insulation. That makes you warm, basically. That yeah. keeps you warm, yeah. And then that's the sheet that would go next to you. Okay. So you put the three together, sew them together with decorative patterns. Yeah. And then finish them off the edges and then you're done. And, and so the, when you finish, they take that away, they can put it straight on the bed? Not or, quite. They okay. have to finish off the edges. They, they trim down. Yeah. And then they have to put like a bias binding on it, which obviously they would use from the backing. Right, okay. Or if they wanted to, they could make their own up. And, and, and do you ever finish them as well? or is that a... Occasionally, but that is very, very time consuming and I don't have the time. <laughs> <laughs> so what you've got here is a really, I mean, all these, these uh, cross you've got here, these are all backing, Special different ones, types yeah. of backing that goes on the back. So you, you don't get involved in doing, you can do this because you pointed out to me the other day that you've done that, that quilt that's there. Fine, yeah. That's I one of yours. I do patchwork. Right, okay. Uh, I'm a patchworker uh, where the hobby has sort of taken over Blossomed. and become a into a business, yes. And, and I know you make all sorts of things, like you've got like a, a what's that, is that a kiddies? That's a kiddies, uh, mm. well you can't call them cot quilts anymore because of the ease, EU, but you can just call it a kids throw. You can't call it a cot? What's, that, what's gone mad here? I don't know, it's something to do with the EU. <laughs> and then here, is that, is, that, is that one there, that's your, that's representative of your that's, business I guess? Yep, yeah, that's my logo. Uh, that's oh, awesome, isn't it? So, yes, that's a... I like that one hanging up there. It's, uh, my Japanese is that shirt. for sale? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. Right, sorry, viewers, you can't buy that, <laughs> even though you might like to. No, but no. I, bet, I bet you there might be a price that they would, would, you would go. No? Uh, no, my oh. son, uh, that was supposed to be made for my son. If I was to sell that, he would probably never speak to me ever again. We wouldn't see you again. No, I would never see him again. So tell us about this machine, because this, this is a massive piece of equipment you've got here. Yeah, this is a Gamel. Yeah. Um, it comes over from America. Right. Um, which, obviously... It comes in bits, I presume, because you wouldn't be able to carry this around, would you? Yeah, it's a 14-foot table Yeah. Uh, with rollers on it, so you can load up your quilt into different levels so you can straighten them out as you, you're doing it. This is your gamel head, which you sew with. So it basically, it's a sewing machine, but on a really large scale. Right. And someone's put it on wheels, so that you can then actually run it along. And and you and you can you can obviously do this, which is you doing this manually. But you have got this gadget on the top here, which allows you to digitise patterns and right. do all sorts of things. The world with. of technology has come to. And then essentially, this just whizzes up and down on its own, does it? Yeah. Well, that's, that's if I've, this is a, a pattern that was picked out for Lady earlier on. Yeah. Um, so this is what will be going on her quilt when it finally goes on the machine. Right. So you just literally put the size of the quilt in, but obviously because it's on a computer screen, it's quite fiddly. Yeah. But you can make that bigger, so you could turn that up to 18, it enlarges it. It gives you an idea that it's true size, so yeah. you can then pan it round and see what it looks like. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can cut it, you can do oh, It's amazing. And, that, and that's one piece of thread is it just wandering no, around each line yeah. across there would be one bobbin right or maybe a half a bobbin depending on how much stitching there is and how density it is right but that's each row and each row would take up to maybe 45 minutes that's interesting yeah, right? so it's quite an, it's a quite an intensive thing and i never ever walk away from mine Right, okay, so some people would sort of just let it go, would they? Yeah, uh, I'd never do that because you Come back know. and just... <laughs> 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 well, <it's laughs> the quilt could be ripped. And, um, I, I, I take a pride yeah. in my customers' quilts because, obviously, we have varying degrees of who 
you know, with their stitching and yeah. the rest of it. And if that was to catch under something, say like I've got it there, yeah. and it's going along, well, ten to the dozen, catches that, you can see that can actually ride up, yeah, rip up. Yeah. So there's no way on this earth do I ever walk away and leave my machine unattended. This is Franny, and she's never left on her own. Mm, so, yeah. so you said you had some people bring in some stuff. Let's have a quick look at uh, some of the some of the stuff that you're going to get onto, I guess. This one that well, we'll be this is the one that's going on next. Right, okay. So this is how they come to us. Yes. Yeah. Um, so this is what the ladies do, and gentlemen, actually, because there's quite a few gentlemen well, out there. I don't think I'll have the patience there. for this, to be honest. Oh, there's a lot out there. So they cut up perfectly usable pieces of fabric. Right. Or old shirts, funny enough. Well, I've uh, got some of them. Especially men's shirts, because they're, they're 100% cotton. Yeah. And then they make them into a lovely pattern. This is just what they call... Um, this is a log cabin pattern. Right. So they've got the backings, which obviously yeah. we have here. Yeah. This one's brought her own in because she likes to wash it. So right. she's washed it. And as I say, this would be this part, the yeah. white bit, and then you'd have the wadding, which is underneath the machine. Yeah. You can see down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we put the backing on. So yeah. you design the stitch. Fantastic. The and and you can see there. behind here all the... Looks yeah. a bit of a mess behind there, doesn't it, really? It does, but then it's all tidied up when it's all... Yeah. You don't see that. No, no. You don't feel it because it's You've all got the taken back up with that wadding. Yeah. Brilliant. So that's it, really. That's what we do here. World of, uh, the world of quilting. Who'd have thought? Who'd have known? Who'd have known? <laughs> <laughs> true. Hidden in Devon Road. This is true. But yes, and obviously over there, all the quilts sitting there ready and waiting to be done in the black. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, you're going to be busy then. Oh, well, uh, thanks ever so much for sharing that you're with welcome. us. And uh, we'll get this up with a bit of luck following win. So I won't say luck because Tanya will crucify me. But we'll go up tonight and we'll, we'll share it with you. Yeah, I'll share it with you. Thank you very much. All right, thanks a lot.